as the story of John's gospel makes its way closer and closer to the cross, John tells this spectacular story, this sign given through the death and then resurrection of Lazarus. It's a long and in-depth story, and we'll be spending time with it uh, over the course of more than one week. But at the beginning of this week, I want to lift two themes that arise out of this story that are worth some extra attention. One, the ways John uses the imagery of light. The very beginning of this gospel, we remember that Jesus was the light of the world. And then in this story about the death of Lazarus, Jesus tells Mary and Martha, I am the light and the resurrection, the resurrection and the light. How does the imagery of light play into your understanding of who Jesus is? So often in our ways of thinking about light, we think of light as good and darkness as bad. But even in the creation story, we see that both have their place. So here, Jesus becomes not just something good, but something that truly exposes all, the good and the bad. What is it like to think of Jesus shining a light on you, a light that in some ways is good and in some ways exposes the parts of yourself you're not sure you want brought to light? What is it like for Jesus to be the light of a world, of a world that has things that are worth celebrating and enjoying and loving and things that we would rather remain hidden? Along with this theme of light, especially as we enter into this final movement of rudder, the lux eternal, lux eterna, eternal light. There's this other layer of the story of Lazarus that many of us may know, even from childhood, the shortest verse in the Bible, Jesus wept. Here, darkness, pain is clearly a part of Jesus's lived experience. Even this exposed grief enters into the story of redemption. So this week, as we get closer and closer to the story of Jesus's death and resurrection, I wonder what is being exposed in you? What are the depths of your life that are coming to light? And how do you understand that Jesus is a part even of that? Jesus weeps for and with each of us. And Jesus weeps alongside the places of our world that have come to light in ways that are the most painful and the hardest to bear. That even there, Jesus' light and promise of resurrection is present. <laughs>